My journey with succulents started by making arrangements. At the time I had a 5 acre nursery growing foliage plants for florists. Long story short, I started growing succulents alongside the foliage plants and they soon became my main crop. This was nearly 11 years ago and I'm still growing succulents and make arrangements. I sell the arrangements at markets. One huge advantage of this is that I get to talk to my customers and get feedback. This has shaped the way I plant succulents. If you notice one thing about my arrangements, it is the choice of plants. Most of my succulent arrangements look like this. Rather than this. I deliberately choose succulents that are shade tolerant and can survive indoors as that is where most people want to have them. Most of these types of plants do best outdoors and while they look amazing and colourful it is more likely than not that they will eventually die inside a house. And so to answer our main question, it depends. I'm going to break things up a bit but for those of you wanting a quick answer, it depends on the type of succulents, the pot, where you keep it and how well you look after it in general. Some succulent arrangements can last years in the same pot while others can die within a few months. The single biggest factor in my opinion that will determine how long a succulent arrangement lives is light. Many succulent arrangements will struggle and can die within a few months if they have insufficient light. The great majority of succulents grow best outdoors and will struggle inside the house unless it's super bright. Plants like these will need a few hours of direct sun a day and are best kept outside. I know colourful succulents are very tempting and many people gravitate towards them when buying arrangements but they can be tricky to look after indoors. Shade tolerant succulents like these are a more sensible choice but even they will grow better when they are close to a bright window. Even though succulents are very drought tolerant, they still need to be watered every now and then. Indoors, they'll require infrequent watering, while outdoors, especially during the warm months, watering may be needed quite often. There's a simple rule you can follow for both scenarios. Water well and then let the potting mix dry out completely before watering again. I would also recommend to not spray, especially when it comes to indoor succulents. It will not hydrate the plants well enough and can attract fungal diseases. Succulents, especially the ones grown outdoors, are susceptible to a range of pests that can completely ruin the whole arrangement. Aphids and mealybugs are the worst and most annoying as they spread fast. If you see these or these, do not delay killing them. They can cause an infestation that can be very hard to get rid of. Bigger pests such as snails, slugs, grasshoppers and caterpillars can cause damage too. Remove these as well, though try not to kill the caterpillars as they are likely to be moth or butterflies. A bit of general maintenance may help your arrangement live longer. For instance, if you see any dead or dying leaves removed as these can harbour pests and disease. As the succulents become more root bound in the pot, they may need a bit of feeding once or twice per year. Slow release fertiliser for succulents is best, though they should tolerate a generic all purpose one as well. Sprinkle a bit on top of the potting mix in spring and then again in summer. Accurately identifying succulents can be difficult if you don't know much about them. I do have videos on how to get the names using apps or by their characteristics. I'll link them at the end and in the description. Unfortunately succulents are not all the same and may have different needs. Some are also more hardy than others. This can very much affect how long an arrangement lasts. The hardier varieties will tolerate being in the same pot for a long time and sharing the space with other succulents. But more importantly, they also tend to tolerate rain and humidity and are less susceptible to fungal disease such as rot or powdery mildew. Generally speaking, succulents from Crassula, Graptopetalum, Graptoviria or Sedaviria genera are pretty hardy. 
there are of course exceptions. If you would like to make your own arrangement out of easy to grow garden succulents, you can watch the 30 hardy succulents video. And if you want to make an arrangement for indoors, I've linked a video naming some good shade tolerant cultivars. And that is that in a nutshell. I hope this video was useful and if you'd like to learn more about succulents hit the subscribe button or go to succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you so very much for watching.